Hello, my name is Andrew Kolbeck. I'm a solutions consultant, project manager, and subject matter expert in reporting here at TechRed Consulting Group. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to create an agent in Eloqua's Insight Reporting Module in order to deliver reports automatically to recipients at a specified frequency. The main issue that arises when attempting to create an agent is that most reports contain prompts. Since an agent should run automatically without any further input required, it doesn't make sense to have prompts on reports when scheduling agents. In order to successfully schedule an agent, you can convert any existing prompts into filters and then set the desired values in the filter, save the report, and then schedule the agent. As an example, I'll demonstrate how to do this using the email analysis overview report. I'll click edit on the report. And then on the prompts tab, we can see any prompts on the report. I'll simply delete the prompts, come back over to the criteria tab, and then set up any filters that I'd like on the report. In this case, I'll filter by email name and use an example welcome email. In the results tab, you can then see the data that's generated by this report. This time we can save the report and then schedule the agent. Now there's a few different ways to schedule an agent. One that I'd recommend is by clicking on the schedule icon here. However, you can also schedule an agent by going to the new menu and selecting agent here. The third way to schedule an agent is by hovering over the more menu on enter report and hitting schedule. If using this technique, again, I'd recommend that there aren't any prompts on the report that you're scheduling. Going back over to our example report and clicking on the schedule icon, we'll then be presented with the agent setup screen. We have a number of tabs here that we can set up the configuration. On the schedule tab, I'll specify in this case weekly to be delivered on Mondays and specify a time here of 9 a.m. Eastern. At the bottom, we can specify an end date. In this case, I'll just choose the 28th. On the delivery content tab, we can specify the subject line of the email, the format that the report should be delivered in, and then in the attachment note section, we can specify any text that should appear in the email body. Typically, I'll include a description of the report, the frequency that it'll be delivered on, if there's an end date set, and who it's created by in case the recipient wants an update to the report or an agent. Then on the recipients tab, I'll typically remove the user that's already included and then specify the email address that it should be delivered to. At this time, we can save the agent. And then, importantly, test the agent by clicking on this Run Agent Now icon. We can see that we're presented with this little window and once it's done processing, we'll get a message stating that if it was successful or if there's any issues and it failed. If there are any issues and it does fail, you can then go and update the report or agent to ensure that the agent is successful when it is run.